unbelievably good-looking yuletide sweaters. So most of you might know them as ugly sweaters, but as an adjective, I just can't describe them as ugly sweaters because I think they're so adorable and cute. So I came up with that acronym, unbelievably good looking Yuletide sweaters. That's what we're talking about today, you guys. And I know a lot of you, considering the fact that it is almost Christmas, are trying to track down Santa, you know, to help you with all the gifts. So if you're tracking down Santa, you're gonna need a really spiffy tracksuit. So how many of you are feline? this tracksuit right here. <laughs> I love that they have these tracksuits. I don't know, for some reason, I just kind of feel like this is what Santa would wear if he was not like delivering presents and packages, right? <laughs> He'd be lounging around the house with one of these tracksuits. And I love that they already thought about pairing your clothes for you already because, you know, we all have a lot of things to do during the beautiful season of Christmas. And so that's kind of like why I've been super busy lately. I tell you, it's pretty much been like Santa's workshop <laughs> in my craft room the entire like two months from November until December. So sorry if I haven't posted that many videos, but I do kind of want to show you like in the coming days all of the really fun projects that I've been working on. So stay tuned for that. And if you're not really a cat person, no worries because there are so many other animals you can choose from. So if you're looking for something super adorable, like this sweater here, this can be found, actually most of these sweaters that I'm showing you are found at Walmart, so. Wow. <laughs> They're actually pretty reasonably priced and the one I got was actually on sale. A lot of the ones that I saw were kind of marked down, so I'm not sure if all Walmarts are doing that, so just double check if you're looking for a sweater. Picked mine up for $9, but I'll show you that one towards the end of the video. Video. Let's continue on because if I don't quit monkeying around, we will never get through this video. <laughs> there's plenty at the store. So um, this one actually has a front and back side to the llama, as do the majority of llamas, right? A front and back side. <laughs> <laughs> and there's unicorns. So, you know, if you're Santa's favorite, this is gonna be the shirt for you, or rather the sweater for you. And if you are not on Santa's nice list, you might wanna say, Santa, don't judge me. <laughs> but either way, everyone's gonna be like, Santa, more presents, please. Yeah. And if you believe, like one of the greatest songs from Journey, don't stop <laughs> believing. Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> yes, I know. This high-pitched voice is so not made for rock and roll. <laughs> that doesn't stop me from singing, though. So, yes, don't stop believing, and Santa is going to make it rain. I'm sure Santa is a huge fan of rock and roll, but he is definitely a rapper. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Because, you know, if you're making all those gifts, you're going to need to know how to wrap them to put them under the tree, right? <laughs> so not only is this a really cute sweater, I love the fact that it has a hood on it, but I was like, this is a really cool Christmas tree. You know, if you're doing a Christmas card, I'm pretty sure that this would be super simple to kind of like follow and use. You know what? I kind of have the ingredients, right? I have pom-poms in my craft room. <laughs> ingredients. I'm always talking about food. Food is always going to appear somewhere <laughs> in my videos. So, um... I lost my train of thought, okay? <laughs> so there's garland, pom-poms, and a star. Um, so yeah, I was like, let's test it out, and that's what I did here. Actually, this is on a much larger scale than a card because, I don't know, I had poster board that was near me, and the garland was pretty thick, and plus the little pom-poms weren't so little, so I figured let's test it out on a poster board for now. And I'd imagine that if you were using it as a Christmas card, you know, you could probably use twine or yarn or Sometimes they have that like really thin type of garland that could probably be used as well. So I kind of put the garland a little close together so the tree looked a lot more fuller. So I figured let's try it out the second time. So I went ahead and used a looser type of garland. Well, I don't know, it's not a looser garland, but it's a garland that's more loosely wrapped, I guess. <laughs> well, it's not actually wrapped, but 
I don't know, you guys know what I mean. I feel like I just kind of threw myself off by just even mentioning the word food. <laughs> so if you don't mind, let's go ahead and divert for a little bit. And I'm gonna show you some of the other things that I picked up at Walmart that I plan to use during Christmas because you guys know I love to bake. And so I found this really cute pair of reindeer ears. So last year I made a bouche de Noel or a Christmas Yule cake. And this year I figured I'm just gonna go with a chocolate cake and then I'm gonna put these little antlers on there and I'm gonna to put like a little reindeer nose of course it's gonna be red for Rudolph and I bought this one because I thought that it would motivate me to make my very first gingerbread cookies <laughs> because I've never actually ever like made gingerbread cookies I've bought them but never ever made them so you know this is gonna be really cool you get to stack all of these so they're all different sizes and you stack them up and they come with two um, tips so that you can actually frost it and decorate it either with your woodland type design or like a winter one Wonderland type design. It actually does come with two recipes and I'm hoping that these are really, really good recipes. I'm gonna continue on with a sweet talk because I also picked up this cake pot press and it says it's as easy as one, two, three. And you have a snowman, Santa's hat, a gift, a Christmas tree, and a stocking. I also picked up the little lollipop sticks for it as well as the cellophane wrap. And then I also picked up this gel food coloring because, you know, I wanted to make some green treats for Christmas. And so I thought this would be one of the best ways to do that. I actually at first thought it was like the little icing for like the cookies and stuff, but it's gel food coloring. And I actually prefer that, especially when you're mixing it into um, frosting because I don't know, the colors are a lot more vibrant with the gel. Um, I wanna say gel ink because I'm always crafting, but the gel food coloring I also picked up this cookie cutter and I did also wanna share with you guys these sprinkles. I actually bought these at Target, but they were so cute and I just had to show them to you. So first off, we have the stars mix, which has your blues and your golds and your silvers. So if you're doing a winter wonderland theme, I think that this could also be incorporated with that as well. And then I picked this one up, which is called the rose mix and it has your kind of like your golds and your pinks and yes, super cute. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And now that I talked about food, I think I can go back to focusing on sweaters. <laughs> so let's turn back to that. Santa is a very jolly guy with rosy cheeks and he's extremely helpful as well because in this sweater it says, put your drink in my pouch. And by drink, I'm sure Santa means milk because that pairs very, very well with cookies, right? He's making a list and he's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. And I hope you land it on the nice list because he is coming straight out of North Pole, especially with his little buff reindeer. Can you see the background? His little reindeer have little jingle bells on them and they're super buff. Rudolph will also be tagging along as well as his elves that are gonna be dressed in all these beautiful Christmas sweaters. And this is actually the Christmas sweater that I got. I think it was originally $12.99. I got it for $9 and I picked it because what it said was so perfect and it matched me totally. So it says this girl, which would be me, hearts Christmas. And from all the singing alone in this video, you can probably tell that this girl loves Christmas. And so this is the sweater that I went with. And if you can bear to watch more, <laughs> Feliz Navidad and Merry Christmas. I also wanted to talk about a video that I posted yesterday. And this video is near and dear to my heart. Like I gotta tell you guys, it took me forever to film this video. Like it always takes me forever to film my videos and edit them. <laughs> but this is probably like 10 times more than that. <laughs> but it was a really fun video to create and it is really just focused on, you know, having a wonderful Christmas season with the family. And so I hope you guys, if you have some extra minutes to watch it, I think it's about five minutes or so, I will leave that information in the description box down below. I'll also leave a link to it as well. And I should say it's a little bit different from my normal videos, but nevertheless, it was still definitely a really 
fun video to make and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys get a lot of laughter from it and some smiles. So thank you again so much for watching. I hope you all have a very wonderful and beautiful Merry Christmas. And I know a lot of you are probably going to be out and about shopping tomorrow. So, you know, feel free to leave some comments down below on some of the great deals that you find. <laughs> because I too will also be out and about looking for some really great deals and you know that I will post those on a video as well. So I thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already and you liked my video, please don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much everyone and have a very Merry Christmas.